Or is this accepting the one that came in here last year? Uh, well, they returned, I believe, for the starters. So personnel similar. You know, they lost the big kid that really hurt us last year. He's at Tech. So uh, I'd say uh, style is much different. Uh, this team will pressure more. You know, Coach uh, Golding, who I, I personally do not know well, but became a fan of, you know, watching his team play in the NCAA tournament last year and how hard they play. Uh, you know, does some similar things the way that we used to, just in a different way. You know, they run two games. And, and so, uh, although they do it differently and more creatively probably than what we did. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I, we, I think we got a decent book on them. But uh, I would say personnel-wise, but style, not much. You mentioned getting Bobby healthy after the St. John's game. How's he doing? Well, he's not going to get healthy in the next – few days so he's probably going to sit out for a while uh, I don't want to announce what the time frame is but uh, we would think it would be in the area of four four or five weeks uh, but we do not know that positively he could respond quicker than that but I, I think that's what we've we've talked with Bobby about and his family about that it could it could be that length of time and uh, I think he agrees and everyone agrees it's best that he you know, get as close to 100% uh, than it is for him to play and hurt every day that he plays. Uh, it's just not going to give itself a chance to heal, uh, kind of an abdominal strain or whatever. Uh, so uh, uh, that's what we're that's what we're planning on doing. And uh, uh, if he's feeling better before then, where he could be out there and be full speed and not not uh, be in fear of hurting himself or feeling the pain, then he'll come back sooner. But the reality is we're probably looking at right around right around starter league. What do you think it is? <laughs> Abdominal. I mean, it was a hip or oh, you mean what 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 it was announced? Well, it's right in that same area oh. right there. So so uh, uh, Chris, why don't you show them exactly? <laughs> it's right there. So, so uh, uh, I I don't know any I don't know the correct term, but he's got some form of abdominal strain. Uh, I think LeBron just missed nine games with something, maybe not exactly, but somewhat similar. So, uh, but he, he, it's it's not that he couldn't go, uh, and he has gone, but it's just not going to give itself a chance to heal. He has a chance to be a really good guard, and by by this year, be a really good guard, and if but not at eighty percent, he needs to be at one hundred percent. Do you think that means the rest of your rotation? Well, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think it's going to affect it much. It, Joseph will probably get, a, you know, some of his minutes. Uh, uh, but I could see Jay Cole getting some of his minutes too and us playing when we play one guard especially, so a one little guard. So uh, in a weird way, it probably simplifies uh, your rotation, but it doesn't help your team. Uh, if that makes any sense at all. I'd much rather have Bobby uh, available to us and healthy, but it, it probably does create situations where Joseph's going into a game knowing that I'm probably going to play approximately this amount of minutes. Uh, and sometimes guys perform better when they when they have that, you know, certainty that's probably going to happen. How much can he help you defensively? I think he's really good on the ball. I don't think he's very good off. Uh, but I think he's really good on the ball. You know, he uh, the the guy's pocket he picked the other day. I mean, he's a good player. I mean, he's good with the ball, and he he took his ball. He does that a lot. He's a very good on the ball defender. I mean, I, I think he would rank up there. The best we've had since I've been here is probably Jeff Hawkins, as far as being a on the ball defender and, and applying pressure and still be able to keep him in front and everything. And and uh, I would say that he is a Marcus was different. Marcus wasn't a pressure on the ball defender where Hawk could pick up full. Marcus is the best defender we've had. So I'm not, I haven't mm -hmm. forgotten about him. But as far as just Hawk and another point guard, I thought Jeff was the best we had. And, and I think Joe could be in that same category as, as Jeff. Uh, but off the ball, he's got a, he, you know, he's, he's, he's still, you know, learning stuff and picking stuff up. But he has a chance to be a good defender overall, a very good defender. Um, but what I think is, 
where we're where we're not seeing Joseph is. You know, we can talk defense, and I know I'm a big fan of it and all this stuff. Joe's a score. And I think sometimes he's he 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 is focused on trying to play the way I want him to play, and he doesn't play the way he's best capable of playing. Uh, and I told him yesterday, just guard the heck out of the ball and shoot it. I mean, let's 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 simplify it because I think he'll be much more effective when he's playing that way as opposed to you know trying to do everything right. How, how, how much is his personality wired that way that he needs to do that? Not just uh, for you, but teammates. And uh, I think I think Joe is a pleaser. Uh, uh, which is in, in many ways a very good quality. Uh, CB, not as much. CB is, well, you can tell me what you want to tell me, but I know what I can do. You know, that that's kind of, which is kind of the mindset you want your guys to be, where Joe, Joe wants to fit in and have everybody and do everything right. He's, he's, he, he wants to be too perfect, and, and uh, he's not. But nobody is, but... Uh, I, I think we're getting ready to see a more explosive and exciting Joe moving forward. So what did you like about the defense on, on Friday? And, uh, what are you looking for? I actually thought it was rotten, uh, but that was because I was only thinking of eight minutes to start the second half. Other than that, not bad. Uh, I thought we we contested shots. We rebounded the ball better. Uh, 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 we got more deflections. I mean, I I, I thought that uh, our activity level was pretty decent, but to start the second half, and then after watching the start of the second half, you know, the dude made what six threes in the second half. Hey, four of them pretty well guarded, and two and two of them weren't. But so, uh, I mean, I was probably more upset or disappointed because he scored over above average defense rather than us just being poor so you know that, that 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 eight minute stretch was still awful uh but it wasn't as bad as what i thought it was and so i i would say overall maybe a small improvement not much but maybe there may have been some positive steps taken is there a guy or two that, that is really stepping up the defense uh i think this uh I thought that CB, you know, his activity level was much better. And I think he had like four steals and, and things like that. Uh, but to me, if you're not a great individual defender, uh, you can still be a very, very good defender because you can be a great team defender. I mean, Larry Bird made the NBA all defensive team how many years? Uh, and I don't think he was out really pressuring the ball, you know, the way that some guys possibly could. Uh, uh, but he's an unbelievable team defender. Uh, um, so there's guys that we have, I think, can get better at that, and, and, and it's, they're not hard to point out. Uh, and, and there's guys that can play to their athletic ability and quickness better. Uh, you know, I don't think Juan's activity level has been as good as it could be, and I don't think Remy's has been, even though Remy was pretty good the other day. Uh, but I still think there's another step he can take in that area. Uh, but but uh, We'll get there. We're just not, you know, we don't have a, we, we do not have a, a lane and rim protector like we've had on some of our best defensive teams. So that's magnified if you make mistakes on the perimeter. Uh, whereas before you make mistakes on the perimeter, it maybe didn't hurt you much. And, and then uh, we don't have, uh, you know, that unbelievable quickness that we can allow somebody to catch it where he wants to and then play defense. You know, I've always thought the key defensively is you play your man before he catches it. And then if he catches it where you want him to, then you can probably play the scout report better. Well, this guy is a shot baker. This guy is a one bounce pull up guy, or this guy wants to go left or right. Whereas if he catches it where he wants to, you know, kind of at his mercy. Uh, so I, I just think we can do a better job of, 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 of doing that, those things. And, those little things like that totally change an offensive team's rhythm and make you look a lot better defensively. So we're 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 not way off, but we're not where we need to be though. Well, not the last game we talked about. So when Dave plays well, you kind of have a comfort level playing for a big. Can you just explain what you mean when you talk about playing for a big, especially when it comes to this year's team? What you're talking about? There? Well, if you, you guys have followed us, you know we script out our first five plays every game and all that stuff, and. and uh, uh, 
you know, three of the first five plays to get a layup for our big. I mean, I mean, we 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 try to play to our bigs and 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 throw the ball inside early every game. Uh, uh, it's a it's amazing to me over time. It seems like that our big guy can score ten of our first sixteen and end up with eighteen. Uh, uh, but that's kind of how we have, we've done it over time, and I don't think we've been able to do that yet. Uh, I also think that when I say play through our bigs, I mean give them touches and then let them be facilitators after they get a touch. And David's a good passer, but I don't think we he's caught it in areas where it's forced help or anything like that yet. So um, it'll get better. Uh, I thought the other day David was pretty darn good. And so – and he rebounded the ball better. So he worries about rebounding and defending. He'll score the ball naturally. But – and something else our bigs historically have done, they've kind of scored before they caught it. And David could be very good at that, but I think he's gotten away from that a little bit. We need to go back to that, uh, where he's really working on sealing guys as opposed to just catching it with the guy on his back. It might be a simple answer, but what does that do? I mean, you've done what you think historically you've done. Why, why, do you that? <clears throat> why is that important to you to do that? And what does it do for an offense? Well, I, I, I think in, in theory, you know, there's there basketball is a game of easy baskets. Either you're getting them or you're giving them up. And and uh, you know, there's a certain ways you get easy baskets. You know, you, you get them in transition. You know, off deflections, long rebounds, steals. Uh, you certainly get them off second shots. You know, fan for threes or or score off offensive rebounds. But the the other way you get them is straight line drives and and angles. And so that that's what I I think. Uh, uh, even though the three ball is important, uh, and I know that we haven't shot as many threes this year as what I thought we would, but the three ball is important, but still there's something about, uh, uh, you know, getting easy baskets that I still think is what wins games. Christian said a couple of days ago, whenever it was, that he, he was kind of disappointed that he turned into a, a spot-up shooter more than he was coming in. And did, did you guys address that in the offseason, or was that all him? And, and do you have any idea why he might have? Turn into that more for a couple of years? Well, he's a good shooter. Sure. Uh, he wasn't ready to be uh, to get 31 in, 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 a, in the in against St. John's as a freshman. Yeah. Uh, plus, we had other guys, you know. Uh, now that he's and Oge have kind of emerged as our two guys, go to guys, without question. I think I think he's been forced to become that because teams are taken away. Uh, what was perceived to be his biggest strength in the past. And so he's he's definitely added to his game. The one thing I would say that I would kind of argue with Christian, I have about this, he's still going to make his money whether or not he can shoot the ball or not uh, uh, and, and get it off. So so I want him to be aggressive and playing exactly the way he wants to, but I still think he turns down shots. And, and I, I think for him, for us to be as good as we can be, he and Ochai can't do that. So – but he, he has improved in all areas, so. We're a couple of weeks away from the conference season, but is anyone jumping out at you, catching your eye on the United States? I would say that I'd say they've probably been as impressive as anybody in our league so far, and that's including uh, Baylor, Texas, and us. Uh, you know, they, they played a good schedule. Uh, uh, you know, they just went to Creighton and won, if I'm not mistaken, the other day. TJ's done a great job. I, I, a lot of his personnel is new. Uh, you know, Tristan's able to, you know, he's helping them out without question. We're all happy for that. But I, I, I would say them as much as anybody has kind of uh, uh, been an impressive, uh, uh, been, been the most impressive team. And I'll tell you somebody else that I, I feel like has gotten better since the start of the season, that's K-State. You know, to me, K-State's playing better. You know, that win at Wichita, people don't realize what a good win that was. I didn't see it, but that's that's a great win. And, especially on the road and for our league. And so, uh, you know, I, I know K-State uh, uh, has shown great improvement since since the season first started. So, uh, you know, I haven't seen enough of West Virginia yet, uh, but their record's obviously very good. And I haven't seen much of OU, but I'd, I'd say OU and, and uh, Iowa State, to me, would be the most pleasant surprises in our league thus far. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Well, thank you.